The future of public transit in the city of Poughkeepsie is still uncertain today, even though the city's common council voted Wednesday night to fund the city bus system through the end of the year. Mayor Rollison favors merging the city's bus system with the Dutchess County bus system. A majority of the common council affirm that the city is responsible for public transportation. A regional county system makes sense. Uh, they have the financial ability and the transit infrastructure to build a better transit system. The system is declining. You know, with a, with a countywide system, longer service hours, service on Sundays, all the things that help grow a system and increase ridership. On paper, this bus consolidation may seem like a great idea, right? We'll be saving money, we'll be um, consolidating services, shared service, fantastic. But to me, as I dig deeper, as I talk to people, um, we need to think about our, our morality and it's becoming a moral issue. These are some of our city's most vulnerable people, people that are handicapped, people that are elderly, people that are poor, people that can't afford vehicles, um, and to try to balance or attempt to balance or fix a deficit of, of years past on the backs of our most vulnerable people is just not the right direction. It was a 5-3 vote to extend the bus system's budget through the end of the year, but the mayor intends to veto the resolution because it is just not good fiscal policy. Some members of the council think it's okay just to take money where there is uh, extra funds at this point in the year, in April, uh, in our health care line and move it uh, into the transit line. This is something that should have been spoken about last year during the budget process. Any monies that this city has that we can do two things with, uh, help pay down the deficit and also offset any overages between now and the end of the year is the good fiscal thing to do. This is a example of bad fiscal policy and that's why uh, I'm not going to go along with it. Council Chairperson Natasha Cherry is keeping an open mind and sees the extension as providing the time needed to properly analyze the proposed merger. Federal Transit Administration report came out in March and cited the City of Poughkeepsie for stating that we did not have enough public input involved also, that the, the city has vowed to hold public hearings and an equity analysis prior to consolidation. None of those things have happened. So tonight, in an attempt to amend the budget, this is stopping the clock because an executive order was given out two weeks ago to end bus service effective June 30th, and for us to do our due diligence, which includes speaking to the riders, sitting down with the county. Um, we have been criticized about not um, talking with the county. We haven't been invited to any meetings in the, with the county. You know, I would argue that we were, we were waiting on the county to come to the council. That didn't happen. That can still happen in the future, but as of right now, we're not satisfied with just ending our service and allowing the county to pick up. Anticipating the mayor's veto, the Common Council will attempt to override that veto on Monday, May 1st. Six votes will be needed to override Rollison's veto. That means one of the three council members who voted no on Wednesday will need to change his vote. Right now, the community activist group Community Voices Heard is pressuring second ward councilman Mike Young with a list of constituent signatures urging him to change his vote. We don't have the money to run Sunday service. We don't have the money to run longer service hours. You know, the council tried to raise the fares 50 cents, which I vetoed during the budget process. Um, the same people who were upset about what's happening tonight were upset about that. You can't charge enough to make a system profitable. And if your ridership is going this way, and we don't have the drivers, or we don't have the finances to buy more buses and run more routes, what do we do? Status quo? Status quo is, is, is not the way to go.